This lesson is about pop art using mixed media. Today, we are going to create a pop art inspired by Roy Lichtenstein. Pop art is an art movement that emerged in the United Kingdom and the United States during the mid to late 1950s. Lichtenstein was an American painter who is well known for his pop art depictions of everyday objects. His pop art is bright, bold, and graphic. He created paintings that look like comic books. One of the elements in making the look of a cartoon was the bold outline, along with the graphic dots that showed shading. This artwork here is called The Crying Girl. This was created in 1964. These dots were called Bende dots after a printer named Benjamin Harry Day. If you notice, this is similar to Point to Listen. The dots are spaced very close together for a more saturated color or darker tone and far apart for a pastel or muted color. For example, for pale blue, the blue or cyan would be spaced very apart. Bendai dots is a way to create shading in comic book. When I was in college, we called this half tone. Let's get started. We're also going to use acrylic paint. I have black acrylic paint for the outline. And I also have some bright colors. We're also going to use watercolor for the background. First step is to think of an item to draw. This could be your favorite food, shows, sportswear, or teams. Make a contour line drawing of the item. It should fill the page. Next is to trace over the pencil lines with black acrylic. Next step is I'm going to add the Bende Dots effect by adding dots using the pencil eraser inside of my image. Remember, you can create value by using the dots close together or far apart and can mix dots to create different colors. Once it's completely dry, you can now add pop art color using liquid watercolor. Pick one or two colors that contrast with your item. Another option is to use a ruler. Draw stripes to fill in the background. 